getting low on light rock, if you're on blood thinner for atrial fibrillation or AFib, you may be at a greater risk for blood clots and stroke. Now a new FDA approved revolutionary procedure can help you reduce that risk and hopefully get off your medication. Joining us now with more is Dr. Vincent Varghese. He is an interventional cardiologist at DeBoer Heart and Lung Center. This is really an interesting procedure. What's it all about? It's called Watchman. It's called a Watchman device, correct. And uh, what it deals with is uh, a disease process called atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation is really an irregular heartbeat. It's the most common heart rhythm we deal with in America, very, very common. And one of the problems we have with this rhythm is that people tend to form blood clots in their heart, and specifically in a chamber of the heart called the left atrial appendage, which is kind of like a little outpocketing in one of the chambers of the mm -hmm. heart. 90% mm -hmm. of people that have strokes from a clot in the heart, the clot forms there. And so the watchman is a device basically that sits inside this little pouch and closes it off so there's no longer anywhere for the clot to form. And how does the procedure actually work? You go through, mm -hmm. through a catheter? It is, yeah. So it's a, it's a general anesthesia procedure. Um, we have multiple different specialties together, including interventional cardiologists, electrophysiologists, general cardiologists, mm -hmm. anesthesiologists, all mm -hmm. together. Basically, we go through the artery called the femoral, I'm sorry, the vein, the femoral vein in the groin that goes up to the heart, and that gives us access to this little out pocket in the heart. And basically, we put this little device in that little pocket to seal it off. There's a lot of planning that goes on before mm -hmm. uh, the procedure to make sure each patient is a proper patient to have it done. We take measurements of the uh, that little pocket to make mm -hmm. sure it's adequate uh, and it to take the that. the risk of clotting so Correct. that many patients are able to get off their medications permanently? Yes, exactly. And so blood thinners obviously have their own complications. People can bleed. So if they can't be on a blood thinner, then this is a good alternative because it'll virtually take away that risk of stroke that is without wonderful. having to be on a blood thinner. It's just been FDA approved this year, so it's great yep. to know it's now available. Again, it's called yes. Watchman, mm -hmm. and you can find out about it at demanddeboer.org. Yep, exactly. All right. Thank, Thank you. you so much for Thank joining you. us. And you're living well on Light Rock 96.9 WFPG.